Jacob look at and company. This. Now that's a watch. This is a really cool project. So we Jacob himself made. made this for you? Yes. Honestly, something like this is very hard to even put a value on it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I woke up happy, so I decided to come over to Happy Jewelers, brought some of my watches to get them valued, and also see what these guys are up to because I know they got some cool timepieces, and I figure I gotta level up my watch game. Decide with the Black Series, huh? Yeah, you know, this thing needs to be driven and uh, it was a really nice, fun, relaxing drive. We didn't push it. Now, if I can get my zipper working. <laughs> I was wondering what you're doing. By the way, thank you to me for my MK Edition McLaren luggage set. I love it. it comes handy when you're carrying very expensive timepieces. My collection is probably cheap compared to these guys. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Dang, how are you guys doing? Thanks for coming in, bro. Likewise, likewise. What's happening? Oh man, this is a nice little secret hidden little spot and a little gem. place. Yeah. Hidden gem right here yeah. in Fullerton. I yeah. see why they call it Happy Jeweler. Yeah. Look at those <laughs> smiles. That's it. Yeah, of course. Right. Thank oh, you for coming. Oh, I gotta in. up my watch game. I brought some of my watches in my collection. Yeah. I want to see what you guys think. If it's a good investment, it is. keep him, okay, trade them in. Yeah. Get, you know, maybe yeah, level up to some yeah, cool stuff. So yeah. let's start with this. So yeah. this is a one-off Bugatti watch. Yeah. Wow. Jacob Look at and company. This. Now that's a watch. This is a really cool project. Um, so Jacob himself made this for you? Yes. Wow. He made a special for your car. Yeah. So it's a one-off. It's yeah. matching, uh, you know, to my Look Chiron at the Hermes. Jacob really did a good job on that watch. Yeah, seriously. I mean, something makes me like nervous this. watching it. To be honest with you, <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, he's like, don't press too many, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, something like this is very hard to even put a value on it. It's because it's such a unique piece. Yeah. Right. A first-time watch buyer is not going to buy a white watch. That's true. Right. The, it's, the, it's the spec like is very creamish. unique. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is. But right. you find it's the It's like right a pink guy. Cadillac, right? Exactly. Neither of you is going to want it. All right. I get it. I get it. This is embarrassing. This is in, you, you I use my wife jewelry. <laughs> yes. Well, I didn't have a pouch. Yeah. You know, you can tell. Well, I'm you need some pouches. So this is my first AP I got like That's this cool. the 15 Navy. years ago. I yeah. love this watch. Yeah. So they told me they don't make this. Don't no. sell it. My buddies that have, you know, more watches than me. Yeah. But so like, what is this worth? Oh, I yeah, bought so it for like, 10 grand uh, no, you did used. Good. No, you yeah, did good. You I did mean, something really like this good. today, yeah. wholesale. Like yeah. for me, I would give you around 18,000. Really? And I would turn around and I would sell it for around 21 to 22,000. Wow. So it's, I did good. These oh. Royal Oak offshores, yeah. the older version. So the way you could tell the older version mm -hmm. is you're going to see the pushes right there is rubber. You mm -hmm. see that? Now the newer ones, they started making them in ceramic because everybody yeah. was complaining that they were chipping. Oh, First, yeah, they yeah. went from rubber bezel to steel uh -huh. bezel, and then they went to ceramic. So you can see it's going to be ceramic. Oh, wow. That's like the newer version of it. Mm. But, but the reason why I love these is for the money, you mm -hmm. can't go wrong. Yeah. I mean, for 20, 21,000, you're wearing an AP on a strap. It's yeah. It's beautiful. You bang it up. Yeah. You're not too worried about it. So this is the new generation of this. This is the new and generation. And what are these retail for? So this is the Ghost. This one is going to retail for in the high 20s. The resale of it is about 28.5. Mm. So it's about the same, about the same. a little so bit more. if you more, want to yeah. sell yours, we'll give you yeah. like, you know, 15 grand, you know? Look at these guys. <laughs> Man, I knew I should have brought my Black Series over here. <laughs> All right, here's my next AP. That's a brick, ah, man. Beautiful uh, timepiece. Yeah, so this, I know somebody told me, hey, they're worth over 100. I think I paid 58 or 68. You did 000. good. I mean, look, the price you paid, yeah. you're still good. At the yeah. height, height, height of the market. 110 yeah. grand. Yeah, exactly. Really? Yeah. It was 110. But that was last December. Uh huh. So today, they've gone down. But yeah. today, it's still worth good money. I mean, look, the previous dial, which is a rose dial, is mm -hmm. worth in the 65 range. Yours is the newer dial. It's still, I mean, for me, I would give you around 75, 80,000 for it. No way. Yeah. yeah. So you wholesale. Kind of, wholesale. Wholesale. Yeah. Wow. That's okay. like me buying That's it and investment. reselling it yeah, for yeah. profit. Yeah, and what would it retail if you were to sell it? About 85. Really? Yeah. Wow, I'm two surprised. Two out of two. You did really, really I good. Thought good. I yeah. thought it's worth like maybe 10,000 more than what it's. No, what no, I no. It, the older one is, yeah. yes. All right, yeah. this one I know for sure is worth more than what I paid for because it's a Rolex. <laughs> so <laughs> nice. uh, this one my wife gave me as a 10 year anniversary gift. So, so this one you can't trade it in. No, you can't. it's oh, not. Yeah. It's not up for negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> she but, did a good job. I love to chalk the dial. Yeah. So Beautiful. I don't know how much she bought it for, but I'm guessing I don't know, 40, 50 grand, maybe more. Yeah, this this is, Danny, don't don't down it because Layla's gonna be like watching 100, this. Yeah, hundred. These are really really <laughs> good. So. It's worth a hundred grand. No, no, honestly, how much? No, is it honestly, worth? it's in the sixties. Like today, 60s? if you wanted to uh -huh. buy one, it would cost you about like sixty thousand mm -hmm. because the chocolate dial. 
So if you wanted another dial, like a white dial is like, believe it or not, the MSRP is the same, but a chocolate dial and the resale value will go seven to eight thousand dollars more. Oh, than this the other goes dials. more yes. than the white one. Be because of the yeah. chocolate dial. Yeah. 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 But historically, if I hold this ten years from now, is it gonna be worth more, you think, or less the way it's, historical? I think like, it's gonna be go. in the sixty to sixty five. Well, this watch last December yeah. again, when the market was really, really hot, it was going for seventy five thousand. Yes, exactly. You're kidding. Seventy five yeah. grand. So it came down yeah. about ten percent. Okay. I love it. It's very it's elegant. You can wear it as a sport watch or you go to dinner. Oh, one hundred percent. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get I'm gonna go grab him a watch case. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. So I don't have to use Van Cleef <laughs> jewelry <laughs> pouches from my wife's jewelry <laughs> collection. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the case. It's oh, yeah, really cool. Wow. It's, it's nice. It looks good. Nice traveler case. Yeah. Are you giving me a hint? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Oh, okay. That's a sales pitch right there. We're gonna make him <laughs> spend half a million dollars on our HML. <laughs> now, show me what you got because there's got go. so much bling and so many you know, options here. So I normally leave these in the back safe. I don't put them here, but I knew you were coming, so Oh wow. So this is our special box. Wait, is that the Senna one? No. That, that, that's so this uh, is going to be the RM6501. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, what what, what, what okay. was this one called though? It was called like, wasn't it a rate named after a, a racer? A Formula One racer? No. No. No? No. no. Okay. Maybe. All right. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> right now. Man, this guy is sneaky. You gotta watch out for Name that the Manny Koshman. Yeah, exactly. It's limited edition 101. 101. <laughs> oh, wow. Make stuff up as we go, right? Man, this is fancy. So many, it's very colorful. Very colorful. So he actually took it from, he put yeah. this strap on, he custom ordered it. This strap is actually yeah. very difficult to get with the green and yellow. Believe yeah. it or not, even straps in the Richard Mill game, depending on the color you have, can go for four, five, six thousand dollars. Because they're just a strap. Just a strap. No, the, the band is a nice yeah. touch because it matches, it matches with everything color. else. Yeah. Exactly. Like, what did, what did this retail for and what is it selling now? The did retail on this is actually around 400, oh, I believe wow. 425,000. But the retail. resale is right about at retail. It's about 450,000. Okay. So, so it wouldn't be a great investment. But it, this was going at 600K at the high. Wow. Yeah, this is going around. So they have 000. dropped a lot. RM's dropped as well. Everything dropped. So, oh, like, wow. here, like, let's say this watch, for instance, uh -huh. right? This is probably the mm. most difficult Audemars Piguet to get. You kidding? The customer that got this waited about 12 years, and he's probably spent four to five million dollars with Richard Mill wow. to get in. He waited so long. Is he still alive? No, I'm just. <laughs> 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 no, he even said it too. He's like, you know, yeah. if I knew it was going to take this long, yeah. I would have just bought it in the gray market. I would not have of waited. Of course. Yeah. But yeah. at the height, this was worth six hundred and fifty thousand wow. dollars. Today, it's about three hundred eighty thousand. So it wow. dropped. A and lot. what was the retail like? What he about what did he pay two hundred. Oh, so it's still a good investment. It's still a good investment. Yeah. Is that carbon? Yeah. What color? Ceramic. Is that? Ceramic. Wow. Don't drop that. If you no, drop no, 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 no. You're like, you no. know. You buy it. Yeah, you buy it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Basically, leave your black series uh, yes, carbon. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. It's subtle, clean. You can wear it every wow. day. You can see every single movement there. Yeah. All the gold. It's skeletonized. Things. So they make yeah. this non-skeletonized as well. It mm. goes for about a hundred thousand dollars less on the resale market. Mm. Okay, here I'll let you take it up. I'm scared. <laughs> like, I'm not, exactly. I won't look. Don't <laughs> yeah. drop it. Let me. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Manny. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna right. test you out. Paddock fifty nine ninety. All right. What do you think this is worth? Man, two hundred fifty thousand. Why do you say two fifty? Well, I don't know. I have one that's worth a hundred, I think. Okay. But it doesn't have the gold. But this is not gold. No, it's stainless white gold. Steel. Stainless oh, steel. okay. I would say then sixty-five thousand. Oof, he's a tough negotiator. <laughs> Shit, we we're back. okay. Eighty-five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> it's a petite, you know. It's a paddock, but this yeah. is a special piece. So look. Oh, all right. So this is if it was just a paddock fifty-nine ninety. Yes, mm. you're right. It's going to be worth in the one twenty-five, one thirty range. But this is special because on the bottom of you, if you take a close look, it says Tiffany and Company. Mm. Now so I doubled. Double. Hmm. And when you and your buddy are sitting there yeah. and you're wearing the watch together, you say, hey, mine's better. He's going to say, why? Because you're going to see that little stamp right there. It's a Tiffany and Company. <laughs> see, it's all in the details. It's all in the details. That little <laughs> font down there cost me double. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never guessed. Yeah. I know this one is probably the most expensive one in here. Maybe this one that's got diamonds. This and this are going to be about the same. This is the frosted. Check this out. It so looks like is, diamonds, but it it's like, like not, yeah, no. the, the, the way they finished it, it's yeah. pretty incredible, actually. So this is an Audemars Piguet, white wow. gold, frosted, and it's a skeleton on top of it. Feel the weight of it. Holy moly, it's heavy. So 
the CEO of um, Audemars Piguet, yeah. Francois, I believe he was going through, um, it was Italy or France, and he saw this jeweler in like this little boutique, mm -hmm. and she was ju doing jewelry with this fr like hammered frosted design. He loved it so much, he went to the lady and said, how, how are you doing this, what's the technique? And I think they partnered somehow, I don't know exactly oh, what they did, the but he actually took the design from her, and they he actually hammer the, the white gold to give it this um, wow. frosted finish, the shine. So wow. essentially it's like dimples. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. So yeah, it's white gold, I can feel the weight. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I would say what you said is about the same. I'm guessing that's probably, I don't know, 500,000 RMs are pretty expensive. Yes, right? RMs are expensive. So this is probably 450, 500,000. Yeah. You're kidding. Like in the 400 range. Wow, wow. You're see? You see? Oh, I, catch, I catch on quick. <laughs> <laughs> Check this one out. This is this is actually you piece right here. So this Ooh, is the Autumn Carbon. Exactly. I like, I like it. So this is the Autumn Mars Piguet concept, but they made mm. this for Michael Schumacher. No way. So this is the lap timer. It took six and a half years to come out with this one. That one. sounds like my AMG one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so how does it work? He doesn't even know. No, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't embarrass me like that. So you're gonna start the, well, you have to wind it first. I have to wind yeah. it, but you're gonna start the chronograph like this. Yeah. And this button right here is we're gonna record your every lap. You see that? Oh, how it wow. pushes in. Oh, yeah. The I don't know though, after, after looking at this RM, um, in, in this box, this I one's <clears throat> very low key. Very low, yeah, it is. But it's yeah. big. Yeah, it's very Huge. big. Huge. Yeah. This is the one that I, I see wearing in this box. Yeah, I've been thinking yeah. about this getting an RM, but it's a little out of my price range. Come on. <laughs> you know, look, a lot out of your price think, range? <laughs> price range, of course. And I'm sure even if it was a million dollar watch, you can afford it, but it's yeah. comfort level, right? Yeah. You have to start so getting it. You're wearing an RM? Yes. So That's look, a pretty cool, nice is, watch. Yeah, this is the RM30. With mm -hmm. the rose gold on top, titanium, something like this, like two hundred thousand. Not bad. Yeah, it's not I a lot think of I money. You can do that. Yeah, you see. And this is a lot more. Yeah, this is double. Yeah, because it's limited edition. It's limited edition. It's sixty five oh one. It's a built in uh -huh. chronograph. Um, it's it's it has mm. a lot more complications to it. Believe it or not, this is one of the entry levels to Richard Mill. Two hundred grand. Two hundred grand. Man, <laughs> oh, it's high. I feel very poor here. Yeah. <laughs> and this mechanism is like magnets. Magnet. Yeah, you have to get used to it to wear it, but once you get used to it, it's very easy to put on and off. See, this pops, this is really nice. Yeah. 200K, so what did this retail if you are RM customer like? This one retails yeah. for about 185 plus tax, so you're uh -huh. looking at 205 to 210, so uh -huh. it's right about retail. Really? But at the but height. But they were, they were much yeah, higher. It was going for around 300 grand. Wow. Yeah. But this is one I could wear daily. This is one you could wear daily. I wear it as a daily. I like it. I love it. It's the most comfortable. Yeah. Out of all the watches I've ever worn, I think yeah. Richard Mill is probably the most comfortable. So this is also a petty, like how much is that worth the leather strap? So this is actually, it's a brand new, it's a 2020 mm. brand new, the guy never wore it. This mm. one's 80,000. Hmm, not bad. Sorry, not 80, 90. Those, the, I the, do, I have the 5980R. Okay. So yeah, super, leather, very, but very mine's similar. gold. Rose but yours seven. is better. Yeah. Yours is the, I mean, it's, I don't wanna say better, but it goes, the resells more. And this one looks like just like my watch, but a different, yeah, so this Wait. is going to be, yours is a Royal Oak Offshore. Mm -hmm. This one's the Royal Oak. So this one's going to sit a little bit thinner. Mm -hmm. See how yours is? Oh, yours, yeah. they call it the brick, yeah. actually, because it's so thick and so big. But this one's going to be a little bit thinner on the case, mm -hmm. thinner bracelet. You know, this one at the height was going for um, 180 dollars mm -hmm. to $200,000. Wow. <clears throat> because of the chocolate dial, too. Because of the chocolate dial, too. Yeah. Now it's like, this one is... Oh, wow. Yeah, it about It feels totally different from mine. Oh, yeah. It's Much more comfortable. Used, yeah, it is. It is. And what are you guys selling this for? 110. 110? Yeah. And what is it retail for? Uh, 80 plus tax, you're looking at around 90,000. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty nice. close to retail. Oh. Yeah. We yeah, because I, I hate paying premium. Huh? Yeah. What did you say? If we could do a trade. Trade? Yeah. I don't know. I like my watch. You know, take one this, thing is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good deal. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is? Um, once you go big, it's hard to go back down. Yeah. Like I yeah, wear the break. I'm used to the weight. Yeah. I'm used to it. I've been wearing like that every on. day. Yeah. yeah. But no, this is beautiful. Times Check are this tough. One out. I gotta. <laughs> you have a layaway plan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This is the 5811. So oh. this watch has been out for less than a year. So mm. this is a watch. Whoever buys it, I oh, tell wow, them. Oh, so thin. Yeah. yeah. You're paying a premium. Yeah. But in a couple of years, it might it's go down. It. Oh, it no, may it go, go down. down. Because right oh. now, it's if it just came out. You're going to be the first mm. guy with it on. Wow. I don't feel it. And what are you guys um, selling that for? 180. Wow, yeah. holy moly. The retail's about See, I would, I, I would have never guessed, I thought it'd be like 65,000. Yeah. yeah, but it's yeah. white gold. 
No, yeah, honestly, one, yeah. I, my next watch on my list is an RM. Yeah. Yeah. But this is this the only one you have for sale? RM? I have this one too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is for sale. Uh, Don't get yeah. high yeah. off your own supply. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not a Everything's for sale. How much does is it Bubba or Bubba? What's that? Bubba Watson. Bubba Watson. The How much does Watson goes for? Today, I mean honestly you can pick up a nice pre owned one in good yeah. condition. You want the white on white, right? Yes, yes. It's gonna be around two sixty. 260. 260. I've had my eyes set on that one. If you can source one for me. Yeah, we had good. one of those like a couple months ago. Yeah, we sold it. Yeah. Those yeah. go quick. They go quick. They yeah. go quick. This one but, I just sold. Yeah. What do you think the value of this is? This is a tourbillon mm -hmm. and a minute repeater. When you're wearing the watch, when the watch goes to like, let's say 11 o'clock, the watch will ding 11 times to let you're you know kidding. that it's 11 o'clock. Look. You hear that? Huh? Yeah. Interesting. And then every well, 30 I've minutes. I've never uh, heard this brand. What is it? Bobe? So this is Bobe. Bobe oh. makes uh, very limited watches, very, mm -hmm. very high end. This is all handmade. Mm -hmm. um, white gold. Oh, it's wow. One of Look one. at the back of it. Yeah. It's like a jewelry. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And it actually goes know. into That's a table clock. Probably 500? 1.3 million. 1. Get 1. out. 1.3 million yeah. dollars. They made it special for the guy. Wow. I don't think I've ever put a million dollar watch on my wrist. Well, here's oh, here a happy go. jewelers. We got it all. Yeah, it's a little grandpa-ish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually. You're if it was right. fifty grand, maybe no. Just kidding. <laughs> oh wait, it becomes a pocket watch. Yeah, like a table clock. Yeah, table table, table. clock. Yeah, yeah. No way. Now that's cool. Yeah, that's really. Now cool. is it worth five, six hundred thousand? Uh, yeah, maybe yeah. 500. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, to be fair to my audience, these are yeah. great. Even for me, it's a little expensive. But what do you consider a good investment for? average yeah you know sure. investor that I mean, wants look, to invest in I, watches these are great they're beautiful but yeah. most of our inventory is going to be the normal day to day so i mean look this is going to be a rolex submariner right mm -hmm. this is the 40 millimeter version mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's pre-owned this one actually has box um it doesn't have the original papers it's going to cost you around eleven thousand. that's it that's it yeah anytime yeah. in the middle of the night you call you want to sell it you're going to get your money out that's of the exactly. phrase came from this oh it's a rolex on your wrist yes, yes. you know exactly. I, like i tell them hey these cars are investments but it's also liquid they're yeah. like how yeah. i'm like because of rolex on your wrist exactly. Yeah, exactly so how much this went like last october at top of the market 14.5 oh so narrow range bit, yeah actually and, no sorry this the 40 millimeter yeah. was at like 13,000. 13. Yeah, so, it's so not right now it's 11? 11. Okay, and what would, you, what would you pay brand new from Rolex store? Uh, 12,000 with tax. You're kidding. Yeah. So, so you can have fun and you can sell it anytime you want and you won't get hurt. Exactly. I like. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true with anything, right? Like yeah, real is. estate, cars, you, you, you make your money on the buy, you know? Yes, absolutely. And yeah. if you hold it for long term, you're yeah, always you gonna do well, yeah. right? I mean, this one, um, you know, pre-COVID was going for like, let's say around 16,000, I believe, mm -hmm. 17,000. Um, right now you can pick up a Pepsi brand new for around 21,000. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, it's 19. called Pepsi. I'm like, Pepsi, yeah. Yeah. how do you go to Pepsi <laughs> Coke? <Hold on>. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Coke too. Yeah, 21,000. I, I gotta show them the Sprite. Get out. Sprite. Yeah. yeah, exactly. What? Yeah. Oh my God! Do you have one that's Kubi Day? <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe the root beer. Ah, Kubi Day. Uh, root this beer. is the root is this beer. gold? Yeah, this is rose gold. Wow. This is a good looking watch. I yeah. Think. What does this go for? This one is about. This is brand new. Forty six thousand. Forty six. Yeah, it's almost like mine, but I, the face is much smaller than mine, or is it me? The, uh, smaller. My, the it's smaller. It's yeah, smaller. Yeah, yeah. Yours is bigger. What, which yeah. one? This yeah. is a 40 millimeter. The Sky uh, The chocolate. Oh, the Sky Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a cool one. Let's talk about the Daytona. Ooh. So, okay, I had a Daytona. I, I, I got it robbed. Oh, uh, really? It's 2005. Yeah. You're they kidding. stole my bags. I, they, I had this I'm on my night. I went to gym six in the afternoon. So, uh, mine wasn't like this, though. Mine was a stainless steel. The With the stainless version. steel uh, bezel. Yeah. Yeah. How much is this right now? This one is, um, it's going to be. The retail is 16000 I believe. Yeah. Right. Plus tax, you're looking at like seventeen five eighteen. dollars yeah. um, it This one is twenty nine five. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that's almost double. Almost double. Almost double. You know, people always Sport. say Sport. a Rolex is your plane ticket at home, right? We even have a lot of customers that will buy mm -hmm. a Rolex. So when they travel internationally, they don't even wear the watch. So if God forbid something happens, they can sell You're the kidding. watch. No, yeah. And they'll they'll get home. Exactly. But at wow. the end of the day, it's you always know? worth a plane ticket. That's what they say. Yeah. About a Rolex. Yeah. All right, all right. This is a pretty watch too. If you like the bigger watches, mm -hmm. 43 millimeter two-tone sea dweller. What but Manny likes big dweller? watches. I mean, look at the one that yeah. he's wearing. Yeah. Um yeah. 18.5. That's it? Yeah. Oh, because it's not gold. It's it's two-tone. 
Oh, two no, tons. The, yeah. It's this 18 is karat gold. gold. Yeah. 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 Solid. Wow. Much lighter. That's pretty, huh? Do you say 15,000? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Here's a Persian. Right. <laughs> the Middle Eastern grinding. The Middle Eastern is coming out of Manny right now. <laughs> 15 sounds really good. It's a nice round number. <laughs> Did I tell you it's my favorite number? <laughs> it is. All right, so what do we got here? All right, so right more here. More Rolexes. More Rolexes. This is white gold oyster flex on a rubber strap. Mm -hmm. It's good for a sporty piece. And then over here, you're gonna have the white gold olive, which mm -hmm. is a very rare, very limited piece. And then my favorite day date with the white Roman dial. I think yeah, it, it that's pops. Cool. Yeah. This one pops be, nicely. Manny, you need one of those. How much you, is this? <clears throat> Let the guy get his RM, bro. You keep trying to take his RM fun away from him. <laughs> Good looking. You're the president of your company, oh. right? Yeah, several. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so we're in your budget. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I need all three. I got uh, eight companies. You have eight, eight presidents. I'll take eight. <laughs> well, guys, this was great. I learned a lot. This was Thank great you. education. Thank and you, you know what I'm uh, looking for. So I got you. We're going to hunt. We, we are. You. We're going to find the best deal. Thank you so much. Pleasure meeting you both. Nice to meet you, And uh, now well, I, think, I, think I got to go make more money because I didn't know. You know, the booba watch is like 400,000? That's it, yeah. exactly. You All gotta right. work harder. All right. yeah. Well, thank you again. Okay, of course. you're welcome. All right. thank you, Thanks, guys. Yeah. Take care. All right. All right, guys, this was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and got some watch education like I did. Be safe, be well, and see you guys next time.